Welcome to Najaf, Iraq. This incredible city in central Iraq is a must for anyone who comes to this country. Not only is it a haven for food lovers, but it's also one of the best places in the country to experience true Iraqi culture. From the street vendors along the city's famous pilgrimage route, we're exploring all of that and more in this documentary. We're also eating everything from chicken biryani to lamb kebabs to ash and harissa. Bro, that ash and harissa had me ready to lick my plate. So let's jump right into it. This is Najaf, Iraq. Assalamu alaikum from beautiful Iraq. Today I'm headed over to the ancient city of Babylon, located only a 90 minute drive from Baghdad. And on the way, as you can see, lots of people are eating free food. Why are they eating free food? Well, 1,400 years ago, there was a battle in the city of Karbala. And the hero of the battle, his name was Hussein. He was the grandson of the Prophet Muhammad. And during that time, people were starving. They had no water. So to remember this important event in Islamic history in Iraq, people come here, they do a pilgrimage, they walk from Baghdad all the way to Karbala, and they eat free food along the way. Now come with me, let's have breakfast. Assalamu alaikum, assalamu alaikum, assalamu alaikum. Hello, hello. Okay. Oh wow, so I think, uh, I think the lentil soup is done. So we have another soup? Okay, over there? I have a little bit. A little bit? Yeah. Oh, they have bones, right? Yeah. Oh, I, I would eat the bone. That's, that's yummy, but no problem. We get that one. Yeah, yeah. It's, excuse me, sir. It's okay? Okay. Talk it on, talk it on. Talk it on. Okay, so give me one of these. Oh, look at this. So this is another, I guess it's like a beef stew with some beans, right? Is this a uh, beef, uh, lamb, beef, beef? Amazing. Uh, oh, it looks so yummy. It's called fasulia. 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 So it's fava beans, right? Yes. Fava beans, got beef. Kacha. Is this, this is not for us, right? We got a small one? For, you, for, you. for me, for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a uh, breakfast. Beautiful beef stew. Okay, oh, it's right here. Amazing, thank you guys so much. It's all free, huh? Okay, so super hot. Oh, it's amazing. Mmm, what a delicious soup. Nice stew. Look at this. Oh, bread? Yeah, of course, of course. Tokran, tokran. So I'm gonna dip the bread in. This is incredible. I know a lot of people coming here right now in September to experience this. Mm -hmm. Still, it's gonna be hot though. So hot. So hot. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, it's great. I'm gonna have to pull out a little bit of oh, oh, oh yeah. Let me try this. It's extremely hot though, guys. Look at this. Okay, let's try it. Oh my God, slow cooked beef. Oh, it literally fell apart in my mouth. Mmm, so good. Everybody's taking photos of me. They're like, what is this guy doing here? <laughs> I'm enjoying it though. Thank you so much. Chokran, chokran. Chokran, chokran. America. America uh, uh, Florida. Florida. This is a lamb. Oh, it's lamb. Yeah, and beef. Oh, could I ask? And they said, somebody said beef. Okay, I mean, it's really nice though. I think they're arguing about beef or lamb. No? <laughs> Tell me, tell me, sir. I'll get up, brother. <laughs> there he comes. So, he's gonna have one more piece. Look at this. I literally fall off the bone lamb. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. So tender, so good. You know, you know why these people they are going to Karbala or uh, Yeah, they were explaining to me that there was a battle. No, I have a piece here. There was a battle in Karbala 1,400 years ago. So this is fava beans with lamb. So good. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll just finish this big, chunky, hot, we want to experience here, right? Everybody comes, they have this on the way and they keep walking. Some people don't walk, some people drive, but the experience is to walk, right? I'm going to wait a little bit. Maybe some chai? Chaya, Chaya? Chaya, Chaya? Chaya, Chaya? Chaya, Chaya? Chaya, Chaya? Yeah, you can see the Chaya also. You can see it there? Yeah. Hey, choke it on, choke it on. Chaya? It's gonna be super hot. Always piping hot. Hello? 
What do you guys think? You want some? Ooh. My hands are on fire. Nice try. What is he giving me? Oh, oh, oh. Does I have to mix the sugar in? <laughs> Sorry, I'm confused. I wish I spoke Arabic. It's on my bucket list. Learn Arabic. Very nice. And so all this is free. Ali, everything free. Yeah. All free. All free. Yeah. Incredible. Blessing. Huh? Yeah. So you get a blessing. So you get a blessing. Amazing. Well, chokran, chokran. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time. I guess we keep going to Babylon. Keep going. Let's go. I don't eat beans, but like this is so good. My mom would be proud of me right now. Yeah. This is so good. You know. I love this, guys. This is really experiencing the culture, right? Amazing. With the people. Yeah, amazing. I mean, I'm, I'm, sure I'm so grateful that we get the chance to visit Iraq during, you know, this uh, event, you know. I'm not sure if, it, if it's a celebration of like, it. I, I think they're just it's, remembering it. It's, it's, it's sad. Through. It's like, it comes from sorrow, right? Yeah, yeah. But like, it's from our perspective, it's really interesting to see, right? To experience this, right? Yeah, this is incredible. I've never seen um, a country give out free food for this many people. 20 million people. 20 million people, man. Wow. It's intense. That's insane. In Greece is 11 million people. You know? <laughs> like, they're uh, like, uh, they giving away food to two Greeces. Then for how long? I think it's like three weeks, I think. I think this is, the, this is basically the whole month here. Probably, like, I think it's two to three weeks, I'm not yeah. sure. My hands on fire. Mine too, mine too. But, like, <laughs> but the key is to like um, hold the cup from up, you know? That's the key. Wow. Let's go, let's go. Let's get into the car, right? Everybody's waiting for us, let's go. Hey, Chokran, Chokran, Chokran. After a 90 minute drive, we're here in Babylon. We're gonna start off with the palace of uh, Saddam, right? So he made this palace basically to resemble the hanging gardens. And over here, we have the ancient site. If you guys don't know, Babylon, 4,300 year old ancient city. Alexander the Great came here, this is where he died. And this is it. Yeah. Also, there's a story said like Saddam visited uh, Babylon when he chose the place of the palace okay and he chose his favorite palm tree and the palm tree you will see it has like a small house for the palm tree oh, wow. and they appointed a guard to save and to feed that palm tree his favorite no way but when he completed the construction this he never visited this is one theory the theory say no he was coming here by hiding or something like that not hiding i mean but secretly secretly, secretly yeah not saying like oh i am here today or something like that so yeah this is meki he's our guide here in babylon and if you guys don't know babylon means gate of god it dates back to 3000 bc three different cities right so first layer 3000 bc this one 17 90 to 4, Hammurabi, lower 10 meters. Okay. Upper this, in New Babylonia for Nebuchadnezzar, 605 BC. And so Alexander the Great died there in, yes. in, the, in the second city, right? Yes, the died Alexander the Great in Southern Palace. Okay. And the third square, the died 323 BC. Perfect. And then so right here is where they think the hanging gardens were. Yes. And that is a reconstruction, right? So Saddam reconstructed that. And luckily for us, he had plans to put a funicular, put a casino. Thankfully, they scratched those plans and we still have the ancient site. And this is his palace, right? So the palace is abandoned, of course. Uh, there's a few important things here. So which you said this is the corn mill, right? This logo for upper Sadha, Saddam Hussein. So that this, they make it Bamu tree. And this is flower, chamomile, chamomile. Cormier, okay, got it. It's the holy flower in Babylonian. So that right there is Hassan Hussein's uh, logo right there. Right? Say so it's HS, right? Yes, SH. Can we go inside? Yes. Yeah, let's go inside. Let's see how it looks. Wow. Hey, hey. This is wild. Guys, look at this. 
he built this and he never came here. Well, they say maybe he came here secretly, but wow, this is huge. I mean, too much. At least somebody's you can't calling see it home. This uh, lamp and this AC cooling system. That's the cooling system. Yes. And the king that time, Nabucodonosor, they make it in the throne hall and wall like this, Bama tree. Wow. ceramic. Incredible. This one. And so he built the palace on this hill because he wanted to be on the same level of the palace of the kings of Babylon, yes. right? Because this would the be... The king for protection the city, Saddam, I am third king in Babylon. Third king of Babylon. Yes. So wild. This is you can't see now the insane. bedroom and the bathroom and sitting room for yeah. Saddam. So unfortunately, and pool and Saddam. Swimming pool as well. So unfortunately, uh, people have come in here and, you know, put graffiti. But at least we still have this to see. I mean, this is amazing right here. If you have your bedroom here, you don't feel the heat outside. Look at this, I know, I know. So beautiful. Like, I mean, it would have been beautiful. Huge palace. Oh, a swim pool? Wow. How massive this is. And this Saddam here. And yeah, Saddam right there. Yes. And logo, you can't see this logo for Saddam. Let's see. Okay, so this is the logo. Saddam Hussein H. Saddam Hussein. So HS, right? Saddam like this, here, and this ha like this in Arabic. Saddam Hussein. Got it. Because this four generation after, like the king, during uh, the king Nebuchadnezzar, the renewed Murdoch temple, because generation after 1000, 2000, you know the Saddam building and you know this building in Nebuchadnezzar. Got it. Yes. So of course, I mean, this is something you've got to see when you come to Babylon. Um, it is part of the history, right? And I think that's it, right? I mean, is there anything else to see in the palace? I mean, anything more like that we should see important in the future? So this is the room. This is insane. Man. This is nuts. Oh, wow. Check this out. Check this out. Wow. What do we have there? What is this? Oh, the, the echo, the echo. Oh, the echo. Outside there. No echo. Oh wow, so there's no echo then? This for Saddam. Oh right, right, right. It's a throne for Saddam. Oh. His throne is right there? Wow. Acoustics, acoustics, acoustics. <laughs> and the view is epic, look at this view. Why the eyes blue? Because well, I'm beautiful. <laughs> Why that, no, that time the king... No, I'm Saddam messing with you, dude. That time the Babylonia wow. using uh, the colors blue. Oh yeah? For happiness. Oh, for sky. For, for sky, yeah, of course, of course. So, so like, and now the Muslim using for uh, protection envy. Got it. So this is part of the Euphrates, because the Euphrates sl splits into uh, two halves, yeah. uh, up north a little bit, and then they are going to meet at Diwaniya, south of Karbala. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Well, through the kitchen. Yeah, this is the kitchen. So now we're entering the kitchen. And from here, we're going to go up to the bedroom. This is strictly prohibited, right? So we have yeah, VIP yeah, access? This is like, not for everyone. Not yet. Only VIP. Yes, because this is closed. Wow, it's like barbed wire, huh? Doesn't end, huh? Doesn't yeah. end. Why? <laughs> Shit. Too much dust. <laughs> oh wow! Oh my gosh! Is this his room, actually? This is Saddam Hussein's bedroom. This is the master bedroom. You know how big my master bedroom is? So this this corner. <laughs> so this is a throne room. It's not a room. Oh, it's not. It's a throne. Room. Lower the main throne. The second third throne. Wow. This is like the, that's why it's the highest level because it's a, it's a throne room, isn't? You know? Wow. Can you see? Wow! Look at this. And right here we have. And the river that turned the past front. The afraid is right there. Water channel. It reminds me of Babylon in the movies. Alright, next up we're going to the roof to get even better views. Man, look at this. Stairways, rooms. So that was here one day, huh? Yeah. That's pretty incredible, huh? It is. And it's, like, like, it's what I told you, like, if you really think about it, it wasn't that long ago. That's crazy. That's know? crazy. Oh, 
I don't know if we can go. Yeah, yeah, because this place has been abandoned for so long, since 2003, right? You gotta be really careful going up, yeah. yeah. And from up here, you get incredible views of Babylon. So over here, ruins, obviously, this is reconstructed. And look at this, just never ending views, palm trees, lots of heat. All right, we're done with the palace. Let's go to Babylon. All right, guys, let's rock and roll. You gotta be careful. All right, let's go to Babylon. Let's go, let's do it. Look at that blue gate. The symbol of Babylon right here. Oh, let me help you. And this is it, the Eshtar Gate. This is a replica, but this is the entrance to the city of Babylon, named after the goddess of love. Look at this, incredible blues. Really, really nice. And the original was taken brick by brick by the Germans, and it's in a museum in Germany. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, nice okay. To nice to meet you too. Nice oh. to meet you too. Guys, we're entering Babylon. Babylon, the ancient city of Babylon. This is incredible. I'm super excited. It's more than food. History. Let's go. Check this out. Right when you enter, you have a map of Iraq. So, we have the map of Iraq, Syria, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait. Iran, Turkey, over here we have the Gulf, and you can see the map, you can see Basra, we're going there, we're in Babylon, Karbala, Baghdad, all the way to the north, you have Irbil, okay, Assalamu alaikum, all right, let's go. What's name? Huh? Name? Me? David. David. Dahoud. David. <laughs> Dahoud? Dahoud. David, David. No, now finish the tour, I have a book gift for you. Yeah? Okay. English, Spanish, no problem. So what do we see there? This gate, this old foundation, 600 BC. This is the arch gate before, 8 meter. This gate for staff, security, army. Look at the join between that time material, asphalt, old, cement, and new. Upper rebuilt in Saddam in 1987. Procession Street using for celebration and carnival and festival. Ceremonies. Okay, so this is the procession street, so obviously that's where they celebrate festivals. Uh, procession, right? Uh, material old and this a new addition. So that's the old but material? Lime, limestone white, one meter square. Mm -hmm. White for peace, red granite, red granite. Uh, red granite like the red car with love and respect and welcome. The wall blue ceramic, blue for happiness. And that was always blue, like during Babylonian times? Yes. That was blue? Our first site in Babylon is the Southern Palace. As you can see, humongous palace, 600 rooms. This was the administrative center. And right here, as you can see, when you enter, it goes like a little bit of a, an angle, a little turn. The reason for that, defensive purposes. Okay, let's keep going. Whew. So David, this is the original location of the Eshtar Gate. And you're not gonna believe this, we have the key. Normally, you're not allowed to go in here, but we do, so let's go. Let's go. Am I a criminal? Am I gonna go to a jail or something? No, we have this guy with us. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's crazy, man. Like, uh, exclusive access, no? Hey. Yeah. There's some perks for doing my job. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is it, huh? The what? only ones here, man. What? David. Yes, sir. The main god, Mardoch. The head the dragon. What the fish. The tail of snake. The entail scorpion, bug looks eagle, front feet line. Right there? Yes. So, right. what would you say all of it's facing north? Yes, because the king come from north. For respect and welcome. So the king would be up there, right? Yes. Wow. That time, she said, right. The straight right. up, the spirit. And Alexander the Great died here, right? I'm sorry, in location and that uh, throne hall. Wow. Yes. Wow. What in city by the they died. That's crazy. So the reason why they built this structure in this square design is for two reasons, okay? So the king would come this way. People wouldn't stand here, they would stand back here. So, basically like that, right? And another reason why is because if anybody was coming in, you know, an invaders, everybody could just take shelter over here. Pretty amazing. Yalla, yalla. 
We're slowly learning Arabic here. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay. Alright. Hey, get that It's crazy. Wow. So what is this? This temple, the name in Mach, Nin Great Mach Lady, Great Lady, using for worship and holy marriage. Nin Mach the goddess underground world. Perfect. All the temple, the building, the holy mud, because the holy mud. Holy mud. And this column system. So the entire temple is made from mud. <sighs> oh, this feels so good in here. So cool. I'm gonna stay here the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. What's happening? You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. It's just like uh, 57 degrees. It's not big. You catching a little shade? It's like no biggie, man. No biggie. In Greece, we have like half the heat of this. So that's fine. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting used to it. Okay, so now we're walking over to the line of Babylon. And it's so hot. I won't lie to you, I don't think I've ever felt heat this hot. <sighs> Too hot. That's the, the original line? Yes. Original line. Yes. It's not explained for you. This is the Lion of Babylon. They carved in the year 605 BC and it symbolizes the greatness of Babylon. Power, right? So it is literally on top of the enemy. So you see the enemy on the bottom, human, the lion, and they discovered it here in the year 1776. Pretty amazing. And over there we have Saddam's palace. David being here! Oh, oh! Jafar, what is this? The Inca Hall! Throne! Yes. Throne! Throne the king. Throne Hall? Yes, and died Alexander the Great here. Oh, so Alexander the Great died right inside there? Yes, 323, yes. 323? Yes. That's the year of his death. This, this exact, this, one of the main halls. One of the main halls, huh? And right here, we have the throne hall. So this is where Alexander died? Yeah. Right here? The throne hall. Yeah. how do you know this is throne hall? Right there. That means it's a throne hall. When Alexander died here, Alexander the Great, they left him here for three days. Without anyone entering the room, they were afraid because they thought he was cursed when he died. Because whoever invaded Babylon got cursed. Tassels, let's go, bro. We saw all of Babylon. It's time to go for some lunch. I'm hungry. Pro tip, get here at 8 in the morning. It is too hot at noon. Woo. Let's go, bro. Whenever they would announce the king is coming out, they would go, The king has come out to play. <laughs> hey, Chokra <laughs> Habibi. You are all coming back. Thank you, thank you, Chokra. Next time you visiting here. Next time, next time. All right, bro, let's go to lunch. Let's do it, let's do it. Excited. I mean, like, this was tough, but I'm ready for lunch. After only like a 10 minute drive, we're here at the restaurant. Let's rock and roll. I'm hungry. Araki food, so good. Yes. Kebabs, right? No kebab. No kebab? The restaurant called Kebabchi. He has kebab, yes. But the favorite here is Uzi, Uzi. in Babylon. Yeah. Oh. Assalamu alaikum. Okay. So here's the whole team. Yo, what do we have here? I mean, we have pomegranate yogurt. So you take this and you mix it with hummus. That's the whole game. That's paradise right there. This way. Tassos just invented it. We don't. We, we eat them separately. It's a Greek way. Yes. <laughs> a Tassos is a Greek way. How do you do? We just eat it alone, like this. Okay. Okay. It's tasty. Oh, well, I want to try that one. Let me try this. We're currently waiting for access for the kitchen. So while we wait, I'm gonna have some of this. This is like the ketchup slash dates and vegetables, right? Yes. Right here? Exactly. Looks great. Look at this bite right here. All right. 
Oh. Here's mm. something for me. You know what it reminds me of? I think like a Chinese stir fry. Mmm. Very, very like pasty. Mm. It's amazing. Next door we have like a chickpea salad. We have a looks like a Russian salad. We have hummus. Mm hmm Try this. What's this? What I can see the carrots. Okay. It's like, like sauerkraut. It's cabbage. Mayonnaise. A cabbage. With mayonnaise. The best thing here though are these. Look at this. How do you say olives here? Zaytun. Zaytun. Get a bunch of this. Mmm. Pickled. Wow. Access? Access is green. We're good? Green light, let's go. Assalamu alaikum. The chef. Fantastic. Okay. So he will take you to the kitchen. take us? Perfect. Oh wow. Look at the chicken. Look at that. Oh yes. There we go. Rock and roll? You good? Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, the kebabs. Look at that fire, guys. Woo! Huge. They have a fan in there. They have tomatoes, uh, eggplant, and then over here we have lamb. It almost looks like kubi day. Like kubi day, right? Ooh, super hot. Flaming. Look at those juicy tomatoes. Okay, here, this way. Okay. And over here, look at this. Got all the lamb and beef. All right, let's go, let's go. Straight to the back. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, shawarma. Look at that, massive shawarmas. Look how huge this is. We've got chicken shawarma, and over here, I'm guessing we got beef, right? Oh, so nice. Oh, yeah. Let's grab some. Let's try. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's let's try it. Yeah, let's try it. Oh, it's so good. Mmm. It's so crunchy. It's amazing. Oh, and it's so juicy. Oh, my hand on fire. Wow. <laughs> so good. Okay, try to. Okay. Good. Try the crispy one. So what is this? Lamb? Uh, beef. Beef. Yes. I'm sorry. It is too good. Heaven right here. Whoa. Perfect. Literally perfect. <laughs> it's so good. And the fat. Whoa. You could imagine it with a sauce. Oh yeah. Sauce and a pita bread with some salad. Shawarma for life. Fetchil. Okay, okay. What are we seeing here? It's like a little buffet line. So, this is beans, okra, uh, eggplants. Uh, this is biryani, he said. Uh, this is the normal white rice. And this is uh, rice with tomato paste. So, I know what I want. I want the biryani. Oh, what's this? Oh. This is the shrimp. This is it? This is the dish? No, this is tashrib. Tashrib. Yes. You can see the bay leaf. We're done in the kitchen. We just saw how they built a koozie with amazing lamb. Hey, chokran, 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 my friends, chokran. Chokran, Habibi. Let's go, let's go. Chokran. Chokran, chokran. Tassos, ready to eat? Oh yeah, this is all the koozies. No, but we definitely need some of this lamb, man. Look at this, look at these kebabs. Woo! And over here, he's, he's putting them together, look at this. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm hungry, now I'm hungry. Chokran, chokran. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Who's hungry, you, Jafar? I'm hungry. Okay, okay, let's go. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look at this. This is massive. Wow! 
<laughs> it's too much, it's too much. So we got the sides as well, right? So the beans, amazing beans. And we also have, what is that, eggplant, right? It's gonna be delicious, can't wait. Okay, so my friends, how do we start this? So first thing first, we start with the rice. We take a spoon or two. Okay, and this is the biryani he said, right? That's what he called it. Mm -hmm. Spiced. Mm -hmm. Regular white rice. Then we have tomato. Mm -hmm. The best one. Yes. Then we're gonna start with the start of the show. Okay. The MVP. The meat. The piece of meat. Look at how tender it is. Oh wow, look how tender that is. Let me get in here too. Oh. So you eat it like this or do we mix it? I eat it like this. Okay. And we have the it's not just tender. It's like juicy, it bounces. Give me such good vibes, man. Yes, it's perfect. It is too perfect. Mm-hmm. Mm. So do you use bread? We can also use the bread. So we can also use the bread, right? Yes. Like that. And then just go in here and just like grab a yes. piece of meat. And then possibly if you want to, you can get a pickle, right? I'm gonna try the pickle now. He, he got me curious. The pickle's nice, it's not too sour. I love the lamb though. Mm. The lamb is just like melting. Mm. Exactly, it just melts in your mouth. It yeah. definitely does. And on the sides, we have a few different things, right? So we have beans and over here this is eggplant right eggplant. It's okra. Oh, okra, it's okra okra and that's eggplant yes that is eggplant so it's like an okra stew oh i love it tastes so healthy tomato onion mm, some spices in here here's what we do all right tell me this is bean stew bean stew then Mm. So that's how you do it? So a little bit of this, right? Then go to the rice? Any rice, any soup, any stew. Any stew, okay. Yes. That. Mm -hmm. And I'm guessing we stay in our, our corner, right? Yeah. Sort of? Sort of, yes. But each, since there's three parts, mm -hmm. you can each have uh, every person can have a corner in his... A corner of his, uh, his rice, right? Yes. And this is for four people. So we're four right here. And we literally can lift this up and just go like this. Watch this. I can't. I'm going to do it the way I eat. With hand, right? This too. Mm -hmm. This is how... This is how we eat it at um, gatherings, for example. It's like that, and then just go like this. Get a little bit of of the meat, right? It's like this. <gasps> the eggplant. Oh, it's still so hot. Now he's becoming an Iraqi. <laughs> I love you, bro. So good. Oh, I love the bag flamp, tomato. Mm -hmm. Let me get a little bit of this. Okay, you do that. Yes. Wow, what a dish. So good, so unique in terms of like everything they're adding to it, right? So it's not just lamb and rice. They have a few different stews on the side. So if you want to, get some of this. Just drop it on top, then mix it in, right? So you mix, break. This is how I learned in India, right? Exactly. Exactly how they do it at gatherings. Of course. And then you go like that, like a nice ball. I'm so happy. We were only eating one meal today, and this is it. It's I'll finish the whole thing. Because it's, it's, it's amazing. By the way, 
Now they eat uh, mainly people eat with uh, with uh, spoon. spoons. But ten years ago, it was uh, more common to see people eat with their hands, just like. So they're becoming more modern now. Yes, yes, more hygienic. I get it. Yes. Hey, you know what? God gave me these hands for a reason. So good. And I'm gonna give you a tip. Try the rice below the meat. The rice below the meat. So good. Just that. It's cool. Cool juices. Yes, you can feel. And still super hot. Yes. So it's like, look, I was going here. Mm -hmm. You don't leave any of this meat. By the end of this trip, you're going to be an, an Iraqi Ma'addal. Iraqi Ma'addal. <laughs> what? You're going to be an even better Iraqi than me. Probably. I am double your age, bro. Yes, you are. All right. I love this. This is so good. I think the biryani is the best rice, though. Yes, me too. I'm almost done. And then we're going to move to that table and I'll try. Bro. Oh, I'm full. Oh. Oh, Habibi. Habibi. I need a bed now. <laughs> no, I need some chai. <laughs> Good chai. Great, man. Like, I'm ready like, for a siesta. Ahora, ¿sabes? After a huge meal, it's time for some chai, some tea. I love this. With some cardamom. Oh, so, so sweet. Mm. Sugar, obviously, but that cardamom. So delicious. And you know, it's great that we're in here because outside right now it's like 50 Fahrenheit. In here, oh, we have air conditioning. It is amazing. Guys, cheers. Hey, we did it. Babylon team right here. We did it. Ali, Jafar, oh, well, you missed me. <laughs> my man right here. And yeah, guys, that is it. I did it. I knocked it off my bucket list or my ocean list. Babylon, ancient Babylon, over 3,000 years old. A must visit whenever you come to Iraq. You know, you go from Baghdad, drive over 90 minutes to get there. Try to get there early. I'd say leave early, 6.30 in the morning, get there around 8. Go in, explore, beat the heat. Then after that, come here and have a kuzi. Kuzi. Such a delicious dish, three different rices, you got lamb, you have a few different um, like uh, soups, right? Or like um, stews, right? Dips, dips, stews, it's a mix of stuff, right? Really delicious, and guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up, comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. And I'll see you in the next one here in Iraq. We're going south. Oh, so good. So delicious, this one. from Najaf, the holiest city in Iraq. Today we are extremely fortunate to be here during the commemoration of the Battle of Karbala. If you guys don't know, 1400 years ago there was a battle in the city of Karbala and people make their way out there in a pilgrimage where they get free water and free food. Now why is this city so important? Well, the Prophet Muhammad's cousin Ali ruled from a town or the city nearby, but his shrine is at the end right over here. And over here we're making chicken biryani. Follow me guys. And they're handing this out for free, right? For free. Everybody eats for free. Yep. Wow. Look at this. Chicken biryani. Can I try? Here we go. Just like in India, guys. Pulling it out. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Oh, the steam. Oh, smells unreal. Iraqi biryani right here. Okay, my friend. Hello. Chokran, chokran. We say for the people who cook this food, we say menjuri. Menjuri? Yes. Wow. I think we have to try this. We're going to try this. Oh, he's okay? Okay. 
خليه يستقي لنا ويقول ما بي احد لا يا معود معي اوكي Look at the chicken biryani. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I can't wait to try. So this is what they're giving out for free, right? So they're taking this out and then they pass it out here. We try. All right, here we go, guys. They want me to take this over. Oh my God, this one's way heavier. <laughs> this one's so heavy. Oh, oh right here. Oh, baby. Ah. Woo! Mashallah, mashallah. So good, so good. Muhammad! Yeah, they're so kind. Amazing. And then right here, if we move over to this side, this is where they hand it out, right? Yeah, Ali. Oh, what's this? Oh, they're calling you there the weather make it. Oh wow. Put the rice. Mm -hmm. uh, touching. Hakaka. Hakaka means like the, the lower part of the rice. Well, the one that touches the surface of the pan or the anything that is cooked in. Makes it crispy. Mm -hmm. It's too good. I have all this in Iran. Like touching. Delicious. Oh my god. Feeding me so much. Guys, yeah, stop feeding me. Are you there? Yeah, Wait, wait, Timna, Timna, Timna. Shoot, 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 shoot. Hello, Madamani. Sora, Sora. The best, the best. The best. Crispy rice on the bottom. Mm. Delicious. With the ghee. Alright, guys, I'm gonna try their chicken biryani. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh, the spice of the chicken. Basmati rice. Mmm. So much flavor here. I love this. It's one of my ultimate rice dishes ever. Incredible. It's amazing to me that every single person that passes through here, 20 million people are going to Karbala over the next like two, three weeks and they get free food along the whole way. What a great and generous thing they're doing here. Wow, amazing. It's amazing. You got raisin in there, crispy onions. Mm. Oh yeah, first time trying Iraqi biryani. Well, we had some today, but not the same. All right, let me help you. This guy keeps asking me, he's like, hey, you do it, you do it. I'm like, okay. So kind, so amazing. So good, so hot. But like, that rice, man. That rice hits different. Mm. Wow. Spiced. It's, it's simple, but at the same time, it's like really interesting, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. The best part I think here is that they add some raisins, you know, a little nice burst. Really nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, the food's good, the experience is better. No, it's insane. I mean, like, of course, you, you can try this anywhere, but I guess, like, you know, it adds to the experience, you know, that we're here. It's insane, to be honest. I cannot, I cannot believe it. Man. Thank you for this. You know? No, no, no this problem. Is like, it's amazing. I'm actually surprised too. I didn't even know it was going to be like this. I had no wow, idea. Wow, wow. It's insane. It's like, I'm really grateful. You know, like moments like this, I've learned like throughout all these years. Like, when I started traveling, I, I wasn't appreciating moments like this in the moment. You know, like, I, I had to go through years and years and years of reflection. But now, you know, I'm here and I'm like, this is insane. This is amazing that we're here actually. You know, there, there's no foreigners here. No one. You know, it's know, insane. Well, no foreign westerners. Yeah, 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 fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Hey, chokran, chokran, Habibi. Chokran. Chokran, delicious. Delicious. I'll see you next time, okay? I'm not. Okay. Ciao, ciao. Hello, hello. Ciao, ciao. All right, guys, so we still have to go to the Grand Bazaar and the shrine, so follow me. Whoa. All right, here they are. Here they are. Keep going. Lots of gold, huh? Yes. Oh, over gold. here. What's this? The hin. The hin. The hin. The Najafi sweets. Yes. Looks like kunafe. That no, one. That one. No. This, this one is way better than kunafe. Yeah. This kind of sweet you can't find in anywhere else. Only in Iraq. You sure? I'm sure. 100 percent. 100 percent. So it's walnuts. There is a cream in the middle, and there's a layer of like dough. I'm yeah. ready. Yeah. Is that ready to taste, yeah? Taste, taste. Oh, that one. I want that one. That one looks oh, amazing. So it I eat it on my life. Is that for us? Yes, you can taste. You should try, you should try. So sweet, so sorry. Okay, guys, I'm gonna try it right here. One piece? Take a piece, take yeah, a piece. I got you, I got you. It's like falling apart. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so hot. Mm. I'm going to get like a hundred pounds on this year. That's for sure. He cut, he cut that for you, bro. Wow. That's so good because like, it's an everyone. Let's eat it. Wow. That's funny. For me? All right, so this one has walnuts, but look at this. Walnuts, there's cream, there's like a nice dough. That's amazing. Mm. The nuttiness. This is the cream? He, he brought the third one, which is a thick cream. You remember the breakfast? Mm -hmm. The thick cream of buffalo. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait either. You and me. What does the boy touch? Okay. Jogan, come on. Cheers. I'm happy. Look at the flavor. Best one. This one's the best. Thick buffalo cream. Mm. But you easily become a diabetic in this trip. <laughs> lots of dairy, lots of sweets, so much sugar. This is phenomenal. Wow, and what does the pound cost? I would like to get a pound. A kilo, kilo. Four dollars, two dollars, three dollars. For one kilo, yeah. For one kilo. They're feeding me, so. Habibi, sugar, sugar. You gonna try it? Yeah, of course. Of course, I'm. What are you talking about? Food, food. I know. This place is dangerous. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Go, go, go. Maybe. I love you. I love you. No, no. No, too much. Cholestair. Cholestair. No. Astidek. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, my God. What is this? The heart of the palm tree called Jumar. I love this. I had it a lot in Brazil. It's basically palmita, but they're doing it right here. He's getting it with a knife and cutting it. Look. Right here. Oh, straight. Mmm. 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 Mm. Oh, so good. A little sweet. Very moist though. Hey, chocolate. It's amazing that we have a guy in the middle of the whole entire bazaar doing that, right? Like, just in there. That's crazy. Like, just hanging out on his own, you know? Yeah. Selling. We can't even walk. Oh my god, we have that much? Yeah, you want? Oh, I'm peace. Get one, get one. 
I've never tried this. What is this? <laughs> Who, who is this guy? <laughs> he thought it's for free. I think he's Iranian. You're from Iran? Iran, huh? Mm. 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 Mine, this one's a little bitter. Is it? Like, it's the first time I have this. It's, it's not like that much of a taste, you know? It's like a big taste. What will, how would you describe this? It's like... I mean, it's crunchy. Usually they're crunchy and moist. This one's pretty dry. No. I'm gonna go with this one. It's good. No. This is the good yeah, stuff, yeah? Thank you. Okay, so where are we going? This is the shrine. But we will not do the course. shrine now. So this is part for the turbans, right? Yes, turbans. Uh, we call it yashmar as well. Okay, so these are all handmade by him? Handmade in Iraq. Yeah. Uh, for head wearing or abaya for men. Abaya for men. So that's yeah. abaya and that's It's specialized the for the people from Middle Euphrates, South of Iraq, West of Iraq. Even in North you can find uh, Iraqis wearing it with different colors. The red one for the Western and the Northern Iraq. The black one is for the Middle Euphrates and the South of Iraq. So we should buy you a black one because you are in the Middle Euphrates. I'm buying both. Let's go. Yeah. Oh wow, so they have white. They got blue. But I'm going for the black one, this one. This one's nice. How much do they cost? So yeah, as you see this gentleman is selling abayas for men. And uh, now the buyers actually from Saudi. Also visitors to uh, Imam Ali in Najaf. Yeah, so they're negotiating here, right? Negotiating, they're buying a lot of stuff. But we still haven't chosen our, our turban. So. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, so which of these is not Chinese? Which is original? Hamid. Okay, he said like all factory made. He said only the turban, this one. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Which one do you want? I like the one, like the modern one, like the not a real traditional one, because yeah. I guess I'm a foreigner. <laughs> the, one, the gray one with the, uh, with the red. <laughs> okay. Nice. Okay, so it's fine. It's fine. Oh, sure can. Let me let me try. I told I told you I used to be like a dancer, you know, traditional yeah, yeah. Oh, he helped. Us. Sit down. He will help he you. <laughs> however you want. However you want. Looks good, man. The colors. Is it? Yeah. My, my face is definitely not Omani, so <laughs> it, won't, it won't sell, I'll tell no, you no, that. No, no, it's similar, it's similar. In Arabic we say Greece is Yunnan. Yeah? So Oman, yeah. Yunnan, it's all the same. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. How do I look? You look great. Similar, yeah? I mean. You look great, I love it. Yeah, so I'm going to get the black one because I have a green jersey, I have a white jersey. So I mean, I want to like match, right? And I've never actually seen this color before. Oh, he has a different one? Okay, I'm going to sit down here. Oh, a nicer one? Yeah. The checker one? Not from the... Oh. From the, not, not from the show, okay? Tell him I'm gonna sit here forever. <laughs> like, <laughs> I feel so much better right now sitting down. We've been standing for like three hours straight. Three hours straight. <laughs> I'm like tired. All right, let me show this bald head to the world. David, David, he's asking, why don't I invite you for dinner? Dinner. We already had dinner. <laughs> okay. Has a look. No, I like it this style. Omani style. It's easier for me to remember. No? Yeah, Omani. Omani? Okay, let's see. Let's see. I know how to do it. I'm pretty good with this. You know, I first learned how to do this 2008 in Morocco. And then every country after that, Jordan, UAE, Oman, always do it. In Oman, they have a different uh, hat. 
It's a different turbine. I look good? Black's nice, right? Local. 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 Chokran Habibi. He's so kind. So how much for this one? Same. Same price? Oh, I'm tired. I literally can fall asleep right now. I look Farsi. What do you say? Turkey. Ahaman. No, no, no. I'm going to get it. Looks nice, right? Looks really nice. I love it like that. It's like local, you know? That's super awesome. That's so cool. We look good, we look good. I love it. Arabian nights. Oh, no, come on, come on. You don't know Aladdin? I've mean, like, watched it too many times. It's been a while, it's been a while. I have kids. Chokran, 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 chokran. Alright, All right, let's go guys. We still have to go to the shrine, right? Iraq, Iraq? Iran, Iran, Iran! 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 Where's Mr. Taster? Where's Mr. Taster? Iran! <laughs> Iran, Iran, Esfahan, Esfahan, Esfahan. Hello, my friend. Assalamu alaikum. What do you have here? Come in, come in. All right, let's go in, let's go in. Let's see all these beads they got. It's beautiful. Assalamu alaikum. These are prayer beads. Uh, Muslims, when we uh, sit down, we could take one of them and we go, uh, uh, Subhanallah, 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 Alhamdulillah, and three, uh, there are 99 beads. Uh, between every, between each 33 beads, there is one. Uh, between 33 beads, there is one separator. So every 33 bead, we say uh, a different sentence. Chokran, chokran, Habibi, chokran, chokran. Yeah, 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 yeah. You will explain more about the traditional. Oh, yeah? Oh, wow. Because he do handmade here. Oh, handmade? Hey, you can do it with your hands. Yes, with your hands. Oh, is it nice? In this shop, what is unique is that everything here, he sew it by hand. Everything? Yes. Wow. That's his work. Oh, yeah, sit right here? Yeah, sit. Oh, well. Oh. Can you sit the Arabic way? Yeah, of course. So this is basically wool. from sheep. This is basically wool. Yes. Yeah. This is uh, artificial. So this one's fake or artificial. It's forty dollars, and this one done by hand took two months. And how much you said? A thousand dollars? If I'm starting from five hundred. Five hundred dollars. Wow. Oh, the difference is like day and night, right? Nice. Oh, I love that color. This uh, they didn't use any colors for this one. No coloring. Perfect. Clear. This these have a clips and the kilbasla sima and nasliya khali gad kusot tujil ana. The clips and basla nasliya sima and the kilamala clips. Yes, had ila Baghdad. بعد بغداد اشرح يجي عندك يجي عندك الواجهه الغربيه 
So in, the, in this type of style, they 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 use it mainly in the south, from Basra to Baghdad, and all of the cities in between, Nasriya, Amhara, this specific pattern. But everything above, from Baghdad, also above Baghdad, it's diverse. So he's basically been working for 35 years, and you can see his work is phenomenal. And to Grand. Thank you. Ooh, if I can get up. David been here. It's nine at night. I'm very tired, but we still have to see the shrine right now. We're about to enter. So we made it to the shrine, but that was one of the exits. So we have to go down this alley to the front, and from there we'll see if we can go in. For sure we can film with iPhones, so we'll try to do that, all right guys? Let's go. Whoa, it's packed. So packed. That's crazy, that's crazy. One more dish, one more at the very end of the bazaar. Woo! I'm drained, but I'm ready for food. How about you? Food? Yes, I need food right now. Hey, my man, what are we doing, Jafar? So, we are gonna get one of the best dihim sweet in the town, in the city, uh, probably in, in all of Iraq. Wow, so it's the same thing we had earlier, but a little different, right? Looks like more crusty, more thick, almost like crumbly. So as you can see, it looks a little more crumbly on top. Nice, soft, very sticky, like nice and crispy. And here we go. Let's do it, let's do it. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Very good. So it's different. The other ones had cream and walnuts. This one almost feels like, I don't know. It's like a mix of like a baklava and something else, right? Oh, look, oh, the piece of kind. So the sweetiness uh, is lower? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's definitely less sweet. Oh, look at that. Look at that layer. Mm hmm. Wanna try tassels? I mean, I have to, no? You have to. 
<laughs> what does it taste like? Close your eyes. It's, like, it's almost like baklava and something else, right? It's less sweet. It's less sweet than baklava. It's like less syrup. Mm -hmm. It's like a ton of sugar. No? Chocolate, Habibi. Chocolate. Okay. Next time. So delicious. Habibi. All right. Let's go. Let's go. And that's it guys, Najaf was an experience, wow, we started off with some incredible chicken biryani, so delicious, then from there we went into the bazaar, we bought this turban, we, bought, we also tried the sweet, what's it called? Dahin, Dahin, so good, we tried three different varieties in the beginning, we tried one at the end, and then we also went to see the Shrine of Ali, and that was the highlight for me. That's it guys, I hope you liked this video, if you did, give me a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to my channel, and it's midnight and I go to sleep. I got six hours to go. Let's go. Assalamu alaikum from beautiful Najaf. It is 7.30 in the morning and today we're gonna go on a breakfast street food tour. Well, sort of street food, right? So here, the way it works is small restaurants, they have each one specializes in certain dishes. Then after all these dishes, we're going to the biggest cemetery in the world. Yes, the biggest one on planet Earth. Come inside, let's eat some kebabs for breakfast. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, oh, salam, oh. Free water, by the way, guys. Free water. <laughs> salam alaikum. Salam, salam. Salam alaikum. Salam, salam. All right. So, kebab? Kebab? Let's go, let's go. This place is awesome, huh? Beautiful. So, this is like more of a. I think they're, they're very into birds here, right? Salam alaikum. Salam. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Okay, so we're going to the kitchen? Kitchen? Okay. Whoa. Salam alaikum. Salam. Look at this. Beautiful eggplant. We have tons and tons of beef. Beef or lamb? Lamb. All right, the kebabs. Kebabs. So in this restaurant, they do both lamb and beef kebabs. Do they also mix? Like almost like a kubi day? So this is what he's doing right now. It's, a, it's um, uh, like, uh, beef and uh, lamb mixed together. So beef and lamb right here with the chef. All right, so we have what? We right, have like nine. He's going, so basically the way it works, right? They cut up all the lamb and the beef meat. Then they mix it into the grinder. Once it's ground, then they put it here into this little vat. And then he puts on these big, big skewers, right? That's how you know it's kebab. This one right here. The other ones, thin ones, is tikka. <laughs> Chocolate on Habibi. Woo! Hey, what up? We're seeing how they make some kebabs for breakfast. 7.30 a.m. breakfast. And next up, we're in the tandoor. Tandoor oven for some bread. And that's it for the tandoor oven. This guy doesn't stop, right? He just keeps going with the dough, keeps throwing in the bread, and that's it. <laughs> Reminds me of naan, right? Yeah. yeah. Very, very similar. So it's not naan, it's hobos. Well, it's the Arabic, the standard Arabic word for bread. But you uh, say hobos, uh, hobos tandoor or samur. Got it. Yeah, so it depends on where they bake it, right? Yes. Got it. Chokran. Chokran, chokran. Let's go. Chokran, 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 boom. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Fist bumps all day here. Let's eat kebabs. Here's our kebabs. Ready? Let's eat. Oh man, look at that bread. A nice tenuri bread. Because David's been here hot sauce, we got everything going. I'm gonna take a little thing here. Mmm. Jafar enters the game. Yes. Jafar. Sure. My mortal enemy. 
جابين وار يو نوت لاجن ام جفا اكزاكتلي اند وير جينا اي هاف ا باتل هير اوكي Mm. And here we go, kebabs, amazing, I cannot wait. So good, lamb, beef, we got some olives, we got tomatoes, nice charred onion, and we got the bread, right? So how does it work? Well, the way I do it, I just go in here, get a piece of this, like that. Nice kebab with some bread. Mm -hmm. So juicy. This is okay, but I'm gonna show you how to really do it. Show me. I'm gonna take a good part of the bread. We take this. See, it fills half of the bread. Now we're gonna put a little bit of the uh, tomato and a little bit of charred onion. Now we're gonna put a little bit of lemon. And most importantly, the kebab, we are gonna add some sumac. Sumac? Yes. Amazing, I haven't seen it yet in Iraq. Okay, so my turn. So just grab a piece of this beautiful kebab. Let us put this whole thing here. Get some of the tomato. Nice, refreshing tomato. Just let all that burst out. Get some of the nice charred onion. Oh, I like the part outside. Beautiful, and then we do this, right? Oh, everything's like falling apart. Lastly, we had a sumac, right? This one's like almost like vibrant purple, right? Yes. Let's go. Mm hmm. Oh, it's amazing. Wow. Everything combined, textures, the flavors. Mmm. Smoky. Everything's smoky. And you have that nice burst of tomato. Mm -hmm. All right. You know what? Let me just teach you something. Let's try it with my sauce. Here's my sauce. I wanted to try it here in Iraq with a few different items. Mm -hmm. You know, I like spice, so I have to. I want you to try it. Okay. So what do you think? Mm -hmm. Okay. And if you don't want to get too full. Mmm. Okay. Vegetable stew? It's soup. Yeah. I mean, for me, a stew is thicker. And this one is still a little thick, right? But yeah, it's a soup. Let's try it. Mmm. Chicken soup. The chicken in here. Mmm. So it reminds me of thickness of like ash and harissa, which we're gonna have later. Wow, very good. And we have obviously some appetizers, so we got some hummus. This is like a mix of uh, chickpeas, cucumber, tomatoes with like, I think that is date sauce and ketchup. This one's more like mayonnaise, uh, right? So it's mayonnaise, and then over here we have cabbage. So I barely eat in hummus on the strip, so I'm gonna go in here, just get some hummus. Like that, get myself a piece of kebab. Good. Everybody's tired. We're sleepy. Yes, we are. <laughs> oh, oh, it's so, so good. good. Mm hmm. That's too good. Yes. Mm. I love popping these. Get a hummus. Oh, yeah, the hummus this time. Yeah. And then I get. Oh, this part is good. Nice yeah, it's a very nice restaurant. It's uh, more modern, very clean, lots of air conditioning. That's a plus, always. People are nice. People are nice. Chai? Chai chai? You having chai? Yes, 
Yeah, right. Quite a good Alright, we still have another breakfast spot. We're gonna go for some ash and some harissa. Let's go to the car. Our next stop, we're gonna have some ash and harissa. So what is ash? Ash is basically a thick soup uh, made out of uh, grains, which is uh, uh, monk peas, cow peas, uh, and beef. And harissa is basically wheat and beef. Got it. And they cook them both for like 12 hours, something like that, and we have this amazing thick soup. Yeah, so I've had this in uh, Shiraz in uh, Iran. This is amazing, look at this. So super dark, thick, right? This one also, it's a little sweeter because they add cinnamon on top as well. Yes. The, the ash, they add uh, crispy onions. Okay, so we're ready to try, right? Let's go. Yes. This is awesome, look at this. It's amazing the amount of cinnamon in there. So as you can see right here, this customer brought over these aluminum like bowls, right? So here and also in Iran, same concept, right? You can come with your own bowls, they fill it up for you. So sometimes if you come with like a big bowl, they'll weigh that, then they'll weigh the ash or the harissa. Pretty cool. I actually love this concept. No? Eh. So grand, Habibi. Amazing, amazing. Oh, wow. It's amazing. And here we go. He's getting our plate. First, we're starting off with harissa. Throwing on some beautiful cinnamon. Love that. And then the next is ash. Ash. Wow, so thick. Love it. Like small little black lentils. Oh, but this this is what's phenomenal. He just throws scorching hot oil in it. Okay. Amazing. Yeah. Try here. Oh, he's gonna throw oil on that one too. Wow, on top of the harissa. Harissa ash. Let's eat. So Jafar and I are gonna try both these dishes right here in the kitchen. Ready? Yes. Okay, this looks amazing. The ash. I really love how he threw the oil on top. Look how thick it is. Mmm. 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 -hmm. So good. Mmm. It's a beanie stew, right? Yes. Mmm. So you said there is beef in here, right? I'm going to feel it. Mm hmm Yeah, you feel like the shreddedness of it. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Crispy onions, the oil. Oh, this is heavy though. Like it's so thick, right? Yes. Look at this. It just like falls. Mm. The oil is a really nice addition. It's like a black bean stew. Exactly. So phenomenal. Oh yeah. I love it. Mmm, this in the morning gives you energy to be able to go out and work in the fields, right? Basically, for yes. workers. It is exactly for workers. I love this dish. A little more. I don't want to put too much. We have a lot of food today. My friend Jafar, he can't have any more. I'm taking the rest of the ash. Mmm, that beef. Mmm, the oil, the thickness. Oh yeah. Phenomenal. What do you think, what do you think? It's great, I mean, it's really thick, but I can tell why it's breakfast, you know? It gives you like a lot of energy. Pretty healthy too, right? It is. Mm. You know, we didn't, we didn't get my flip flop last time, but like, this is awesome. This will do it. It wakes us up, right? Yeah, definitely not. Definitely not. Alright, let's try harissa. Harissa sweeter. Alright, so here we go. We're gonna have harissa right here in the kitchen as he's taking orders. You ready? Yes. Let's do it. So it's thick. Look at that. The cinnamon. Love it. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's sweet, huh? 
You gonna make it sweeter, right? Yes. You can put some sugar in there? Not as usual when they eat it. They put some sugar and consider it as sweet. Alright, throw it in. Throw, throw in that, that sugar right here, right here. That's it? So you got it like that and mix it? And then we're gonna also add some cinnamon as well. More cinnamon? Yes. Pretty amazing. Let's see how let's see how sweet it is. I mixed it already for us. Here we go. Now it's too sweet. Too sweet. It's good. <laughs> it's good. Look at that. Look at this. That's beef. Mm. We joke about it a lot. As we do with beef, imagine that. Oh wow. It's amazing, but it's so filling, so thick. Mm. Yes. Right. I think I'm good with this. There you go. Yes, <laughs> Guys, that is so good, so filling. Ash and Harissa, wow, they filled me up. Okay, ready? Hey, Chokran, Habibi, Habibi, Chokran, 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 Chokran. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, Habibi. Okay, okay. As you can see outside, there's a mini line, not too huge. Usually, super long lines for. Harissa and Ash, why aren't there so many lines? Well, again, we're here during the commemoration of the Battle of Karbala, so people are eating free food everywhere, so they're not to come pay if they get it for free, you know? And that's it, guys. All right, let's go. Let's continue. Hello, 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 David. Hello, 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 my friend. Let's go, let's go. Assalamu alaikum. Salam, salam alaikum, salam alaikum. Salam, salam, salam. Salam. English, English. Coffee? Okay, so we stopped for some quick Arabic coffee. I love this, so good. I think our gentleman friend here is gonna give us a little shot. I'll take a little shot right here. Oh wow, it's good. It's creamy though. He added some cream. This is like a tiny espresso shot. I need double. Oh, it's amazing. This is too fast, like it is like one second. It's so good. Mm. Oh, light roast here. <laughs> oh, again, right now everybody's doing the pilgrimage over to Karbala. That's why this gentleman here is giving free coffee. Amazing. I'm gonna have one more. It's so tasty. Yeah, it, it is creamy, milky. Mmm. It's good though. Habibi. It's so good. Taib, Taib. Yeah, all fine. Habibi. 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 Kulish Taib. Kulish Taib. Oh, one more. One, more. one last one. Oh, you can have it. You have it? Mashallah, mashallah. Mashallah, mashallah. Mashallah, Mmm. God is great. Alhamdulillah. Sas is making friends here. It's amazing. One last one? Tenth cup, guys. It is too good. Ooh. Wow. It's going to wake me up. All right, let's continue. Now we're going to the cemetery. Biggest cemetery in the world. Follow us. Let's go, let's go! One of the biggest cemetery in the world. Ah, gotta fix this car, huh? Best coffee ever, man. Best oh, coffee. Wow, it was so good, man. Jafar, I thought you were in that lamp, bro.
We are now entering the biggest graveyard in the world, also known as the Valley of Peace. Obviously, rest in peace, right? As you can see, never ending amount of graves here. Tombs over tombs over tombs. Uh, I mean, this is just intense, right? Left and right, just a sea. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna stop and like walk into a certain spot? Is that? Yeah, okay. We can. That's what's first impressions. Oh, well, amazing. This is one of the most impressive places I've ever been in my life, man. I've never seen, first and foremost, I've never seen a cemetery that, that, that you can drive through literally. Like, it's like a city, you know? It's just, it's, a, it's its own city, basically. It's amazing. Jafar, how many graves are there here, approximately? Uh, millions. millions. We don't know the exact number. There is no exact number. Oh my gosh. And I was saying hundreds of thousands. This is like a million. Not, not thousands, no millions. Okay. Each day. Each day is more. Yes, exactly. So we made it here to a parking garage, and from here we get epic views over the entire cemetery. Here, push, push, push. Let's go. Here on the first level in the parking lot, we're about 15 feet high, and you can see over the entire graveyard. Massive, just huge, it never ends. Some of the graves are short, some of them are tall. You have streets that go in between, so you see cars passing through. The very back, you see the flag of Iraq, right? And uh, yeah, I think that's it for this area. Let's go upstairs, right? Through the top. Amazing, yeah, let's go. Let's get a better view. Ready? Top. Unfortunately, we can't go higher in the garage because there's people sleeping on every level. And out of respect, we're not gonna go up there. We're just gonna get in the car and we're gonna go deeper into the graveyard. If I can get in here. Let's go. Amazing, huh? Wow. So we're about to exit the compound of Wadi El Salam and we just wanted to get off so you could show you what this place looks like inside, right? So over here we have a bunch of different graves, but then as you can see like certain areas like this one over here, that's like set up for somebody to either buy or they already bought it, but then obviously when some family member dies, then they start putting the graves, right? But that's like set for a family. Here, come, come with me. Careful here. Just gotta be really careful. So this one, obviously this uh, family, they put a little, um, a little roof, right? They put the Quran there. They leave, I guess, like some flowers, right? And basically they set it up so their, their loved ones always have some shade in this really hot heat. Come over here really fast. Let's keep walking through here. Yeah, so this area, obviously less graves because it's on the outskirts. It's the very end of the graveyard. Let's uh, cross through here. Yeah, as you can see, this area is full, right? And obviously this is a very sad place, but this is real. Biggest graveyard on planet Earth. And that was our morning, right? So we started off with kebabs for breakfast, and we also had ash, we had harissa, really, really delicious. And then we ended up here. And this is sort of like what you can do in a half day, starting at 7.30 in the morning, and it's almost noon now, and the sun's coming out. So definitely get here around 10.30 latest, because it's really, really hot. And guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did. Subscribe, comment, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one somewhere here in Iraq. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum from beautiful Karbala, a city located about a two hour drive south from Baghdad and it's famous for the Battle of Karbala that took place 1400 years ago. Today we're going to be doing a food tour and we're going to be seeing the two shrines of the city. We're starting off at this restaurant, we're going to eat lots of food, but the main thing, the main dish we came here for is called Tashrib. Come with me, let's go straight to the kitchen. Where's Jafar? Jafar? Hello. Hello. Let's see this kitchen. Let's go, let's go. So this restaurant is all home cooked meals, right? Like it's almost like your grandmother's cooking, right? Yes. Okay, okay. Ali, hey. my friend, yeah. ready to go? Let's go, let's go. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. How you doing, my friend? Everything good? You're welcome. Okay, so Tashrib. Tashrib. Where is this? Oh, okay. 
Met forne. So this is a, a mix of onion. We got like eggplant here. I think it's like a big uh, okra, right? No. No. That's uh, pumpkin. That's pumpkin. Yes, at the top. Uh, oh, well, there's o there's only one in there, so. <laughs> so this one's done. How about here? Just rice. 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 Always rice. rice. White, White rice. So. Let's see what else we got here. Biryani. Biryani. Famous biryani. <laughs> Amazing. Karbala biryani. Let's see what's in there. Fasulia. Fasulia. So uh -huh. like almost like fava beans, right? Big chunky beans. And you know what? Let me see what's in here. This is sabzi. So, oh, this is sabzi. Yes. yes. This is this is in Iran. It's called gourmet yes, sabzi. Yes. Yes. This is amazing. I love this. This is a mix of beans and like um, herbs. It's a herb stew, herbal stew. We definitely have to try this one. Okay. Uh, oh, that's just like pure fat in there. Oil. Oh, look at look, look, look at the ribs. Look at the. <laughs> it's amazing. That's lamb, right? Lamb. 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 Ganam lo bakar. Ganam, ganam. Lamb, yes. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. I mean, the, the size, right? Okay, and then, so, from my understanding, Tashrib is like bread? Tashrib, duck. That one? Hey, soup, Tashrib. Okay, let's see it. That's the soup of it. Uh, soup, Tashrib. That's Tashrib. Okay. Some noodles, huh? are like uh, crispy almonds. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh yeah. Right here we have some roasted chicken. It looks amazing. Look at that. So they cut it in half, put it into this, which they use for the fish as well. They put some salt, I'm sure, and they put it on the charcoal grill. And it's very smoky, very charred. This is gonna be phenomenal. I'm excited. Let's eat. You want me to try this? Okay. Oh, tomato paste with rice. Mmm. I'll have some more. We're definitely getting that. Yeah, we will. That is amazing. Mm. Wow. He just like opened my appetite right now. It's so good. Jafar, Jafar. I can't wait to taste all of this. Oh, wow. Is that ghee and saffron? Saffron. Saffron? Uh -huh. Of course. <laughs> Wow. Oh gosh, look at that. This is gonna be amazing. Look at that. He's just soaking that bread. And then next he's gonna add the lamb. That's it? That's the plate? Look at the fat. That looks so good. Wow. So that's stuffed onions, eggplant, and pumpkin. Here we got the biryani. Look at this beautiful biryani. Chicken biryani, right? Chicken biryani. And this is saffron rice. This is not your regular, ordinary white rice. And now we're going to the sabzi, right? Mm -hmm. Sabzi. Oh, yes. This is so delicious. You have never tried this before. You'll be blown away. It is absolutely phenomenal. Look at the nice chunky beans. That's all greens, man. All greens. Chokran, chokran. Chokran. Baby, chokran. All right. I think we're ready. You guys ready? Yes, I am. I can't wait. I can't wait either. I'm starving. Me neither. Let's go. No, guys, sorry. I got a little piece of chicken. That's cheating. That's cheating. Mm. All right, here we go. Why are you following me, guys? Because I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> you can't separate from the food, no? No, no, cannot separate from the food. 
Look at that. Super fresh mint. Gotta try the mint, right? I love mint. Mmm. Mmm. Refreshing. Mmm. So good. I'm ready, guys. This is it. Tashrib. How do we go in? So, we're gonna use our hands. Mm -hmm. We start with the bread. So soft. I would like to take a uh, taste of it. As we go in with the meat. Mm -hmm. Oh. Like this? Nice. It's soaked in tomato paste, right? Yeah. And you got this nice piece of lamb right here. So soft. Wow. Oh my gosh, it's like butter. The fat just melts. I love the bread. It's so soft. Mmm. And we have this too. So what else do we have? The onions. The onions over here. So add some potatoes as well. Okay. Some peas, chickpeas. Some. Some fat. Add whatever you'd like. Some then fat right there. Really, really good. What an amazing dish. Mm-hmm. Mm. And it's super light in terms of like spices, very light spices. So you go like this, right? Let's get this, it's, it's literally has been soaking in the broth, right? Then you separate it here to the side, get a piece of meat, maybe something like that. Then maybe a potato. Just like this, guys. And then from here, you're so good at this. Thank you, man. It's phenomenal. Mm. Let's do one more about you and me. Ready? Yes. Let's do it. <laughs> well, lie though. You fill up super quick with the bread. You don't notice it, but it just like hits you, right? And then everything that's attached to the bone is the best. The ribs. So good. So let's get together. You ready? One, two. Wow. Well, look at that. Fall off the bone meat. Sleep all that meat down here. Oh, look at the amount of fat. This is the best part right here. Just have it alone, right? You know, I'll get some more bread. It's so filling. It's so good. Mm-hmm. So Jafar, I think we should try the rest of this because yes, if not, we'll fill up too fast. And that's the thing, this bread is really, really filling. You won't notice at all because it's soaking, right? In this broth, but ah, wow. I guess we'll just keep going with it, right? Oh, the, the amount of fat I just got here. Mm. Has a super tender piece of fat with some meat and like jello. The perfect combo. Hungry? Joking, dude. <laughs> nice, I want to show you guys this. This is sabzi. In Iran, they have it as well. It's a gourmet sabzi. So you have, um, I think it's kidney beans. You got some greens in there. And then they put it over the saffron rice, right? You love this? Yes. I personally love this. I eat this every day. Mm-hmm. So much flavor. So much flavor. Mmm. And the rice with the saffron, the ghee. Mm. Oh, it's super healthy, right? <laughs> He's like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I cannot think about it because some foods... No, it's good. And I'm going to come over here and grab one of these. Look at these onions. So over here we have eggplant, we got onion, and over here we have a pumpkin. Let's grab this stuffed onion. Everything stuffed with rice and like, like a tomato paste. So sour, so good. So good. And look right here, I'm just gonna pick this guy up. Can't eat this, but it's like that. How do you eat this one? Oh, with bread? Yes. Oh, okay. We take a portion of it, yep. and we take a little bit of the skin of the uh -huh. vegetable. 
Okay. You can see the walls, right? I didn't do a good job here, but... I'll do a better job. Yes. I'll do my best here. Like that. Mm. Pick up. Just like that. Oh, yeah. Really good. So good that I didn't want to wait for you. <laughs> I just ate. No problem. <laughs> Chicken biryani, right? So we have chicken biryani. We have some, uh, I think it's salmon noodles, right? Probably. Let's see. Let's see. Yes, we do have some moments. Mm -hmm. mm. Noodles, raisins, no sweetness, nice spices. It's good. And then we have one more to try. I think this is eggplant, right? Eggplant stew, yes. Eggplant stew. It's gonna go in here, pick this guy up. Wow. I think I'm gonna have to keep this one myself. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So it's eggplant and potato in here. Got tomato. Get in here. Look at this. Move it around. So it's a mix of vegetables, not just eggplant. But we call it eggplant stew because the main ingredient is eggplant. Mm -hmm. I love it. Wow. That was really filling. I'm gonna have to get some more of this. Over here we have rice and noodles. And then this is another. There's a bean stew. Yes. And then over here we have like some fresh, some fresh basil. Mm -hmm. Like that. Yes. So they use this as a palate cleanser. Just have a few little leaves. Go straight in. Mm -hmm. And here is how I like to eat in a, in, on a table like this. Get a little bit of this. Okay. Make sure to get a little bit of the water or the, the juice. Okay. And then we add. So he's basically making a sandwich. Yes, a sandwich. Like a nice refreshing sandwich. Good? Really, really, really good. <laughs> well, I think I'm going to take a little break. I got super full, like in five minutes. I'm full too, but this is so good. Yeah. I'll just let it later. And later is later. Mm -hmm. The fat. That's the best. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he added yogurt to his, that's like raita. You call it raita? I don't know, but, but we just eat it like this. Yeah, in India they always give you raita, which is basically yogurt for your rice. So Jafar, what do we have here? It's called halawat halib, or the sweet of milk. The sweet of milk, with pistachios on top? Yes. Look how thick this is. Look, look, look. It's uh, milk, butter, flour. And the starch. And starch, of course. Okay, I'm ready for a bite. Also, a lot, lots of sugar. Lots of sugar? Mm. Of course. Everything here is sugar. Let's see. Mmm. Oh. Oh, it's amazing. Begging mm. Sweet. Mmm. Feels like grainy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the starch right there, right? And a little bit of flour, but also like you have uh, ground pistachios all over it. So good. So good. It's addictive. It's like a thick pudding. We have mm -hmm. thick chocolate pudding. We have the chocolate. With a little of cardamom tea. Mm -hmm. Is cardamom here? No, no. Oh, with cardamom tea? Yes, it would be like chilling, laid back. It would be amazing. Oh. This is a must try. Last bite, we have to go see the shrines. I'm done. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. I mean, it's pure sugar. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but that's amazing. <laughs> Damn. Yo. Yeah, I know. Working with you is gonna make me be like a, an old fat guy. 
No, what? How do you feel about driving into oblivion? To put oblivion. It's too good, right? Hey, Chokran. Chokran. <laughs> Take care. So it's, so it's coolish. You know? Coolish Taib. You guys ready? Everybody ready? Let's rock and roll. Rock and roll. Okay. Okay? Okay. Okay. So. This is crazy guys, look, all these dates. I've never seen a vendor with this many dates in my life. Like a thousand dates. All right, let's go. Yo, where are we? We're stopping to see a date vendor that has like 2,000 dates. Look at this. Can I try? Try? I'm gonna try a little one. No? Oh my god, it's like melting. Super sweet. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm. This date is so hot. It's literally melting in my mouth because it's been sitting in the sun. Oh, delicious, sweet. It's chai time. Chai, chai, chai. Oh. Salam alaikum. You ready? Mm -hmm, I'm ready, for sure. Try this hot chai right here. Woo! Woo! Ah! Free chai. Let's do it. Tassos. I mean, mine's hot too, so we gotta do it like this, right? Cheers, man. Oh yeah, just dropped like 10 degrees right there. Cardamom? Right? 100% mm -hmm. cardamom and sugar. That's what it is, and black tea. By the street? It's amazing. Ooh. Cannot ask for anything else, man. So nice. Kulistaid. Delicious, Kulistaid. So nice. You know what's weird? It's really hot, but surprisingly enough, this is like not bad, you know? I don't feel more warm, you know? It feels great. Let's go. All right, that's it, guys. We're here in Karbala. As you can see, it is packed. Look at that fly behind me. Huge. Oh my gosh. Assalamu alaikum. We're on the way to the shrine, as you can see, they're giving out free food everywhere, and this guy's making bread in the portable tandoor. Portable here. Is it? Yes, man. I, I just realized. Yeah, man, he just moves it around, he has the gas tank. How many degrees in there? Oh, like 300, bro. Damn. You get close and you burn everything. <laughs> it's that's good, though, because you lose your fat you gain during the day, you know? That's how, we, that's how you lose weight. That's how you survive you here. Stay right here. <laughs> chocolate, chocolate. Look at the ice. Whoa. Uh -oh. This is some kebabs. It's free. Salam alaikum. Wow. It's really amazing. Free kebabs? Dude, no point to go to the restaurant. We come here. Exactly. It's amazing. Oh, it's over here. There is a date with Rashi. Rashi? 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 Yeah, Rashi. Salam alaikum. Salam. Date with Tahini. This is going to be so good. Let's try it. Mm. If you guys don't know what Tahini is, that is sesame paste, basically. Mmm, like a nice thick sauce. Mmm. Try another one. No. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So delicious. Look at this. Mm. Fantastic. Sweet. Nice and meaty date. I love it. Best date of my life right here. So uh, they have for a month, for a year. Oh yeah? Oh wow. They stored those for a, for a year. 
these dates to do this. The ultimate dates. Oh yeah. There's experience. Oh, we'll see. I'm done. So what's happening here? What is this? Okay, this uh, ice for some places to put water into. Blocks and blocks of ice here, guys. Massive blocks. Look at this. So they're taking it out to all the different vendors here. Let's go. Amazing. Free ice. Free ice. And what's that? Mosque. Mosque. Well, of course the mosque. It's not a shrine, though, this one, no? No, the shrine is deeper. The shrine has a golden dome. Golden dome? A real gold. I, I love this guy's shot. Yeah. His term is awesome. Terminoe. Oh, Gaspacho. What's this? Oh, wow. What is it? It's apricot juice. What is that? Bread? Yeah, it's kind of baked pastry. Like a sweet bread. It's called cherek. 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 We eat it while we drink tea. Let me see if they have three feet. Something like them. Alaikum Salaam. Alright, some nice juice, huh? One more, one more. One more, one more. Mmm, so fresh. Wow. What is it? Do you know? Is it apricot again? I think so. Yeah, that, that's apricot. Yeah. Yeah. And this heat, this. But luckily for us, after uh, four days, we're used to the heat. No, like I was just telling you, I'm like, I cannot believe I'm saying this, but actually I'm kind of used to like 45 degrees, you know? 45. Yeah, just 45, eh? No, well, that's like normal, you know? It's like 115, 120 Fahrenheit. It's nuts. Wearing pants, casually. <laughs> You feel it later though. <laughs> Sweaty. The ultimate. What is this? Heima. Heima. This is tomato keima. Timon, which is like rice. Keima. This is a beef stew, very thick. Right here. Very nice. I need a spoon. Perfect. Alright, so this is famous in Najaf and in here. Yes, in Karbala. Right? In Karbala. Yes. Look at this. Also, short grain rice, very, very beautiful, and like very yellow. And then we have this pasty stew, right? Look at this. This rice is called Amba. It's, it's only, uh, it's originated in Iraq. Okay. So, phenomenal. Yes, phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Super tasty. The spices, the mm. everything. But it's mild spices, right? So it's not spicy, just right, man. It's so yes, good. Yes. Yes. And that rice has so much flavor. Super short grain. Oh. So you have to try it. It's amazing. No, it's funny. Is that both these cities compete? Like, there's a big debate which is better. But they brought theirs from Najaf here. Exactly. So we're eating the Najaf Iqima in Karbala. Amazing. One more bite. I'm so happy. Look, look, look. Oh! Wow! I think you're gonna like it. Good, but very filling, you know, with the rice. I'm already full. I don't know how you keep going. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> it's amazing, man. It's really nice, though. It's very light, not too spiced. I'm gonna give it to the people. Free food for all. 
stuck here alone. Okay. Okay. Chokana Habibi. Okay. Amazing. So we're walking over to the shrine and on the way we just saw a guy making a three meter chicken shawarma. Huge. Helicopter up. Wow. Did you see? See him right there. Jafar, what is this? This is the shrine of Imam Hussein. He was killed in Malachal in a battle against the rulers of the uh, He went out to fight for a justice for a cause. He went out to fight for corruption and to save his nation and humanity. We're about to enter the shrine of Imam Hussein, the grandson of the Prophet Muhammad. Again, 1400 years ago, there was a battle here in Karbala, and he gave his life. He's a martyr. And why people come here is to commemorate his life, right? So we're going to go inside right now. We're going to see the shrine. Cameras aren't allowed in, but iPhones are. Let's go. So we saw the shrine. It was really, really whew, intense emotional people crying people praying i mean once you get into where the tomb is it's really really intense people pushing each other people trying to touch the tomb right um just be respectful come in here do not smile do not start laughing don't do anything like that again there's a second shrine across but same experience um, you can go over there if you want to we're gonna go past this and go to uh have a, some traditional drink here it's a non-alcoholic drink. What's the name of the drink we're gonna have now? We're gonna have a Sanjabil. Let's go right now. All over. Let's have a cheese. So what is that? It's sugar bread. Sugar bread. Always sugar, you know. Iraqi is so sweet, so they love sweet. It has smell, the front one. Oh wow. You can't taste? It's like cardamom. It's like literally smells like cardamom. So nice bread, look some sesame seeds. Sugar and bread. That's it. It's good though. It is very mm -hmm. good, yeah. I mean I can see this with really like, like some it. ice cream, some vanilla ice cream. You could? Tasty. Have some. Is it, is it really with sugar? Pure sugar. Yeah, that's nice though. <laughs> if I was a kid, I'd rather I'd rather have that, you know, compared to regular bread. Like mm -hmm. You gotta cut cut on the sugar on this trip, you know? It's getting dangerous, you know. <laughs> yes. Fluffy. I mean I'll tell you, this for sure scoop up some vanilla ice cream. Mm. You're dangerous man. Sarah Mahan, Mahan. Oh, you're yeah, shop? Is your shop? Nuts. Okay. Let's go. Sugar and bread done. Let's go for some honey and vinegar. Let's do it. Habibi. Habibi. Chokran, chokran. Look at these juice vendors. They just have blenders after blender after blender. Each one is a different color, representing a different fruit, right? So we got melon, banana, lime, uh, pomegranate, kiwi, orange. What else? More melon. Amazing. So we're gonna have something. He's like, what do you want? A uh, pomegranate. How you say pomegranate? Roman. Yeah. So uh, pomegranate. Yes. Uh, pomegranate. Pomegranate. Yeah. <laughs> We got you. Here we go, guys. Let's do this. This is exactly what I need right now. <laughs> it's going. That's it? That's bottom, it, I'm bottom, done, I'm done. Up? Wow. Mom's up. Well, I mean, it isn't so big, but that was exactly what I needed. It was so hot for a second right now. Wow. Cool me down. Wow. Mmm. 
Oh, I love pomegranate. You guys have a lot of pomegranate here, huh? You love it. Mm -hmm. We you love even put it in salad. Has a sweet. Has everything. Everything. It's amazing. You know, before the trip, I, I didn't use the pomegranate. You know, pomegranate juice. No. You know, but like I guess here it's everywhere, no? First time I had it was in Armenia, but that's like right up here, little north. Skanjabil. Skanjabil. So sugar, mint, soda. Yes. What else? Vinegar and honey. And honey. What a mixture, right? Amazing. No, 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 no. Oh, you no, don't do that again. Yeah, no, remember no. that, remember that. Sorry, sorry. It's okay. It's I, okay. I feel like I have a beer here, but no, it's not alcoholic. It's not alcoholic. Let's do it. And it's famous from the Middle Euphrates. Middle the Euphrates. region of Iraq. Karbala, Najaf, Divania, Babylon, so Got it. all of this. Okay. I love it, actually. I like it. It's so refreshing. It's oh my gosh. The mint, the sugar. And the soda, right? So what soda is this? Cito. It's, it's called Cito from Sin Alcohol, which means Sin Alcohol. Sin Alcohol. Sin Alcohol, German brand. It used to be famous in Germany, not anymore, but only in Iraq. Awesome. Hey, this is good. Dog of the day. A lot of sugar. It's like mint. Sour, mint. Mint. So that's mint. So that's Karbala, right? We did an incredible tour today. We started off with some incredible dishes. Oh, too many dishes to count, right? I don't know. I, I lost counting. <laughs> Then we came over into the city and we saw them handing out food. We tried so many things. So, what's the first dish we tried here? We have kime. Kime, yeah. So kime, it's a very, very special dish. Only here and uh, nafja, right? Najaf. Najaf, Najaf. Yeah, Najaf. Yeah, the Middle Euphrates again. Yeah. So all Middle Euphrates and then we walked in, we saw the shrine. Shrine is incredible, really, really emotional spot. I mean, it gives you vibes that you will never feel anywhere else. I mean, just people in and out. 20 million people will visit this place over the next two weeks. It's a great spot. Karbala, you must visit when you come to Iraq. My friends, thank you so much for the opportunity to come here. If you guys love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel. And you must visit during this time. It is something unreal. It is really spiritual. It's recommended. And this is so refreshing. Mm. Wow, so good.